This is Mark in the Center for Online Learning and Innovation here with a quick tip for Qualtrics users. In online forms, you may wish to have additional stipulations concerning your questions. For example, sign-up sheets may need names or email addresses. Your survey may require numerical data be entered as digits. These rules, called validation, can be added to questions as requirements so that your respondents can submit their response to your form. Or you may just wish to suggest to respondents how long a typed in answer should be. All that's easy to add to your questions. Let's take a look. The simplest validation type is simply requiring an answer. By choosing Force Response under Validation Options, I've made it so that my respondents must answer this question in order to submit the survey. I'll activate it for this question as well, and any question where I really do require a response from respondents because the data that these questions collect is essential. This is important also for establishing logic later on if I'm using conditional logic in this survey. In this question, I might like respondents to be able to choose up to three or perhaps four answer options, but no more than that. If that were the case, I would come under validation type here on the right, choose answers range, and enter an appropriate number under either at least or under no more than. In this particular question, it would be helpful if I could make it so that Respondents could choose as many of these as they'd like unless they choose this first answer option, in which case the rest of these wouldn't make sense. So I'll click on this answer option and choose its own dropdown and choose Make Answer Exclusive. Qualtrics will add a blue X to indicate to me that that's been activated. I can also set validation guidelines on text entry questions. For example, if I wanted for this particular text entry question respondents to only give me numbers in the form of digits, I could choose that under Content Validation, Number. And in fact, I could even set stipulations on how many or how few digits they could answer. Although it's not strictly validation, I can hint to a survey taker how long I would like or would expect a text entry answer to be based on different sizes for the default text box they see when they take the survey. If I click and hold this little handle on the lower right of the text box, I can make it shorter or longer. I can even activate multi-line or essay text box, and then I can drag this handle down further to make this a much larger text box. Let's take a look at a preview. So now this text box, unlike these two, suggests to a survey taker that they might wish to answer at length. 